I'm Amy Powell. I'm doing Mercy from Mercy Fine by Shelley Silas. I'm not a violent person. You know, she was the sweetest, most generous. She'd get up at six, make coffee for him so it was hot when he woke up. She had a bath and put on her makeup because he said he didn't want to look at an ugly cow in the morning or smell a nighttime smell. She wore thick mascara and painted her lips so they were bright. She walked around the place like it belonged to someone else, like it belonged to him, because that's how he used to act, like he owned the place, like fuck he did. I'm Amsel Lazarus. I'm doing a piece from Drowning on Dry Land by Alan Eggborn. So, the first question I'm bound to ask Charlie is why? Why agree to a thigh? Why a thigh? Fairly risky, don't you think, Charlie? I mean perilously close, isn't it? A thigh. Within a whisker's breadth of a major erogenous zone. What's what inside? I see. That was a bit cheeky if I wasn't it. <laughs> and at what stage, Charlie? Think about this most carefully before you answer. At what stage did you remove her? Take down her you know what? I'm Bally Gill. I'm playing Timmy from The Age of Consent by Peter Morris. Well, it's not like Winnie the Pooh. It's not about a boy who has his stuffed toys and their mates, you know, the way mates are, like a pack of fucking lunatics. Uh, and one's a manic, depressive donkey. And one's a slag rabbit. And one's a fucking overbearing, pretentious owl. But at least they're all outside, in the woods, getting their exercise. And they're like, mates. A Toy Story. It's fucking scary, this film. All the toys know their toys. I mean, they know they're not unique. I mean, they have feelings. And they can think, and they can talk, but it's only to learn how to accept the fact they're just these things. You know, these meaningless pieces of shit that can be broken and replaced. Like slaves. I'm Benjamin Thorne, and I'll be doing a piece from the film 25th Hour, and the character is Monty Brogan. Fuck me. Fuck you. Fuck the city and everyone in it. Fuck the Sikhs and the Pakistanis bombing up and down the streets in their decrepit taxis. Curry steaming out from their pores, stinking up my day. Terrorists in fucking training. Slow the fuck down. Fuck the priest that put the hand down innocent children's pants. Fuck the church that protects them, delivering us into evil. While you're at it, fuck JC. He got off easy. A day on the cross and a weekend in hell. And all the hallelujahs from the Legion angels for eternity. Let it burn to fucking ash. And submerge this whole rat infested place. I'm Beth Dyson. And the piece I will be doing today is from Anne Turning Stay by Kelly Powell. God knows. I wish that I could. But I can't. I can't forget that we had something. And you're running away. You're running away! Don't you see, Mark? You're running from what I've searched for all my life. Why? Because you're scared. Well, I'm scared too. But I, you and I, that night, you and I, Mark, we have something worth fighting for. We could make it work. I'm not saying it'll be easy, but I care about you. And I know deep down into this bravado that you care about me. And that's what it's all about, Mark. Don't you get it? It's a human experience, Mark. You can pretend all you want, but you're only really lying to yourself. You're running from what some people search for all their lives. 
from what I've searched for all my life. And Mark, you're denying the simple and wonderful fact that you're emotional and vulnerable and alive. My name is Neville Ken. This is the character of Anthony Staxton Billing from The Revengers Comedies by Alan Akebourne. Karen Knightley and I had an affair. Well, you can hardly term it an affair. Had a bit of sex together, let's say, for all of a month. Well, quite a lot of sex, really. We tried out all 25 of the bedrooms in that house of hers over the course of about a fortnight, starting in the attic and finishing up in the master suite. She insisted we dressed in suitable clothes to suit different locations, I remember our night in the nursery as particularly bizarre. When we had completed the course, she declared that, according to ancient law, we were now legally engaged and that at the next full moon I had to sacrifice my existing wife Imogen and change my name to Alric the Awesome, at which point I realised she was stark staring mad and broke off the relationship. <laughs> 